Howdy everyone, today I'm going to be taking a look at a video that I buried on YouTube a year ago. I did an AMA back in October 2020 where one of the questions or requests was to make a time capsule video like Mr. Beast did and so I filmed one and set it to be released exactly a year later. That year later was just a few days ago and here is my live first time reaction to that so-called time capsule video. I was really nervous. But I didn't cheat, I didn't check it, I didn't remember what I said in that video. And at the end of this video, you will also figure out why I found it really nerve wracking and morbid in a way that I had to set up a video for the future. Here are my thoughts on it. Enjoy. This is a time capsule. I haven't looked at that video since. I don't know what it contains and I was so curious. You don't know the number of times I was gonna click on it and then I was like, no Anna, you shouldn't. So I held back, as difficult as it was, it was very difficult to not click on the video, but I managed. And we're gonna watch the rest of it now. What's with the bucket hair? <laughs> I cut my own hair back then, and I still do cut Kevin's hair. I no longer cut my own hair, because it's so difficult to cut it at the back of your head, but that was my own haircut. I did it in the lockdown, bucket hair. I did it. I did it. I think I'm ready. I, I'll never be ready. <laughs> now that I decided that I want to stream my reaction to this old video, this video message, I sure hope I don't say anything stupid. I'm nervous. I really am. It's such a weird feeling. This is very strange. But well, okay, here we go. Pastana, tell me what you have to say to present day me. I'm recording this video on October the 2020, sending it to future Anna. Within a year, this video will be released and I hope you are well, girl. I hope you have taken care of yourself. Right now, I'm you're well. in the midst of a pandemic, which is pretty concerning. I wonder what the world will be like in a year. Will the situation go back to normal by then? Will it be safe to be outside? Will Past, and I'm sorry to say, but the pandemic is not over. It's better. It feels more normal. You can already leave your house and they've even got to travel, move to a different country. But it's still not exactly normal, normal. Will be safe to travel? Will people be all right? I hope they will be. That's my biggest concern as of now when it comes to the global situation. Certainly. Certainly hoping that you guys are right, that everyone is all right and things will continue getting better now with the vaccines and the COVID situation hopefully, hopefully under control. And within your own life, you are, I am, I don't <laughs> even know how to address it, but past Anna or current Anna is in the midst of negotiations with esports organizations. Past Anna, you leaked it. I didn't talk about this on stream much. I dropped a few hints, but I didn't talk about this. Past Anna, you've just leaked that you have been in negotiations with several esports organizations. And do you think present day Anna is signed? No! <laughs> I'm not signed! Because I didn't want to be signed. But I did get a couple of offers. And I haven't accepted any of them. And you know what, Pastana? I think we made the right call. I think you, you chose your freedom. You chose that you can do whatever you want on your channel and maybe you will get signed in the future because there are again new negotiations and new offers. But I think present Diana is now very sure that she will only accept a deal if she finds it beneficial for her content, for her channel, not just the financial part. I never wanted to sign a contract just to get that fixed fee a month because you get a salary for being on a team. I never wanted it just for the financial support. I wanted to be like part of a bigger content creator team that one can collaborate with, then that one can brainstorm with when the creative ideas flow and maybe you make bigger events, not just on your own channel, but it could be a one bigger unit in terms of an organization backing you with your creative ideas for shoots, for streams. For events I want to organize, I want to do big things, bigger than me, because I'm not a very big person. I am Unitana though, but I'm not a very big person in real life, but I have ideas. And if I find the right organization that 
could be my partner for those ideas, then, then that's when I know that that's the right deal. So back to the video. <laughs> now that Pastana has spoiled it and all sorts of contract offers are on the table, I cannot talk about it yet. So hopefully in a year, this will not be a secret, but right now Still a secret. in the present time, <laughs> I can't even mention this to anybody because it's all confidential. Esports organizations have started to be interested in chess mm -hmm. and I'm one of the lucky creators that have been contacted and they are seriously considering of hiring us as their streamers, creators. So I wonder... It's very true. Most creators have been signed. I'm one of the few people standing <laughs> without an org and Levy. I think Levy and me are the two among the bigger channels that haven't signed yet. Yet. In a year, Anna, will you have been signed by any of the esports organizations? Will you have made a deal? Or did you keep your freedom? Did you prefer to I stay did. a freelancer on your own platform and not belong to any of the orgs just yet? I don't know. We'll have to see it in a... When I find the right match, girl, when I find the right match, until then, I do whatever I want. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want it to sound like if you're an org, then you don't have your freedom. Um, you sometimes would have certain hours to do uh, in this or that category, like my main category would be chess, I'm guessing, and maybe it would be X hours a month for chess. Um, but it's, it's certainly a lot of freedom also within orgs. And that's the right deal when you are in a contract that enables your creative flow and helps you make further, better content instead of restricting you. So that's the right deal. That's the deal that I'm hoping to get one day if I find the right creative team to work with. Because it's for me, first and foremost, about content and the growth of my channel instead of just the financial stabi stability, because I'm lucky enough to have financial stability without an org. So I don't need the org for, for that part, for the... Um, monthly salary. What has been the path of my channel since? Because at the moment of this recording, my Twitch channel in the chess category is the fastest growing one, which is insane. It's absolutely insane, but I know I cannot take this growth for granted. Funnily enough, past Anna had no idea that her channel, my channel, was gonna, was gonna grow even faster. That was back in October when I recorded this message. But what I didn't know is that my channel was gonna grow even faster in November and especially December. And by the end of December, that's when I had the goal that Hikaru told me that I had to hit 100,000 followers by the end of the year. And we hit it on the 30th of December. That doubled doubled my channel and then the rest of the champions showdown and the third Poc Champs event with Pokimane and Rubius as some of my students, it grew even further, over 200,000. Past and I didn't know what fast growing means because this was even faster. It cannot continue that way forever and ever. Now it's a lot slower, the growth, but it's still going up and that's a good sign. Thank you so much for for supporting my channel, for being on that curve with me, upwards, not just downwards, <laughs> not just downwards, upwards. But as long as the content is good, I'm hoping that it attracts people. It's not the numbers that matter, but the feeling that you guys care about what's on this channel and that you like to come back and you like to hang out on this Twitch channel. That is the most rewarding side of it emotionally, that you care, that you you want to be here, that you like it here, that this is a social space that we have created and now it's even bigger because more wholesome people hang out here. That part of it is the best, the best feeling. Tomato hug. I'm getting very emotional, but we're gonna, we're gonna go through the last minute and a half, two minutes of this video. In terms of your personal life, Anna, I think you're very lucky past Anna for sure is very very happy with Kevin and I'm hoping that True. you too will just be even happier in a year's time maybe you will have a dog by then I was gonna say past Anna you guessed it right I was very happy back then but if I need to compare I possibly am even happier now that we have 
a bit more freedom in terms of what we can do and we got to travel a little bit we got to move to spain which is my favorite country so that side of the relationship has gone really well but not the dog <laughs> we don't have a dog we considered it we really wanted a dog in the lockdown that was that was one of our main topics whether we should get a dog because we really would have appreciated the company of a furry fella in the house when we wouldn't really see people and in general we both love dogs a lot i always had pets as a kid both dogs and cats and kevin too really really likes pets but then once we started talking about how we hope that the world will go back to normal and then we would like to travel to see to see the world a little bit but also to see our friends and family my family lives abroad we have lots of friends abroad she had no idea that she was gonna move back to spain i i thought that because obviously it's the company that matters the most i was ready to live in ireland for the rest of my life it's not as sunny as spain all right but i have the best company here so for kevin i did switch my home location and i moved in with him at the start of the pandemic, we were stuck here in Ireland and I was ready to live here for the rest of our lives. If that's where he likes to live, he has family here and, and friends from since he was a tiny, tiny kid. He's, they have been friends since they were three or four year old. That's crazy. You obviously don't want to abandon people like that and your family. I already lived abroad. So for me, whether I live in Ireland or Spain, I'm just as far from my own family. So I was ready to, to live here. But then we started talking about Spain and thank God Kevin likes Spain just as much as I do. <laughs> Cause now, now we can go back and forth and we can be sometimes in Spain and we can be sometimes in Ireland. So in that sense, we've both got the best of both worlds. That's why we cannot have a dog cause now we are traveling. Well, it's not like we're gonna be traveling every week, but we will be doing a bit more traveling than what we used to. <laughs> we didn't leave the house back then. Final bit of the video. Have you already gotten a dog, the two of you? You keep talking about a dog. You really want a dog. And I also <laughs> hope that I can see my family. Maybe when we grow More old. often than now, during the year 2020, since the lockdown, obviously I wasn't able to travel and I hope that in the year 2021, future Anna will be able to go and see her family and see her friends. To see my family, that was the biggest, biggest thing I was hoping for. And I did. I did get to see my family after a year and a half of being apart. I finally got to go this sam this summer to Budapest and, and see my parents, see my sister. And it was the best of feeling. That was the best of feeling. I'm hoping to go soon again in person because present Anna or past Anna in this case, this is so confusing with the time. <laughs> I am missing my family and friends a lot. A lot. And I can't wait to see them in person and give them a big hug. That is still the same, but now I got to see my family and I got to hang out with our friends in Wales. So it's it's been completed since we, we managed to meet, but I want more. I want to see them again, obviously. You can't get enough of seeing your loved ones. I want to travel again when I can. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you, 2021 Anna, you can do that again because you do you do want to give that big hug you do miss your family and friends a hell of a lot on that note i wish you the best girl keep going sometimes it's difficult everything can be a struggle from time to time as it has been during this year with the pandemic but i know that you are strong i know that you can keep fighting for your dreams trying your best to to make the people in your life happy so do that keep going and I give you a big virtual hug from the past. I did not expect that ending. I did not. But past and it was... I don't like to compliment her or anything, but... She was, she was pretty supportive and kind and wholesome. She, she wants the best for me. And it means a lot when your past self is supporting you. It's so weird with the times, but she was right. The pandemic, the lockdowns have been so difficult for all of us in the world. I don't know if you guys have seen Bo Burnham's special. We only just finished it recently, the last part. 
the number of times he he's recording himself and he just cannot do it and he just says I'm not well and it's so true it's so true that the whole pandemic and the lockdowns and this uncertainty of the situation has been very difficult on everyone's mental health and past Anna even though she she's very positive she was and is a very positive person she struggled too it affected everybody it has been hard on everybody on on some it has been even harder than on others if if it was losing their jobs or losing their hobbies we were lucky that we could keep continuing making content from home we could continue working but on a mental on a mental level it has been very difficult for everybody and she knows because she had those she had those moments too when when she was just very very uncertain of what was happening when she was going to see her family when she was going to be able to travel again and we had each other and have each other luckily Kevin and me but it was difficult for the two of us that we were our only company even if you love the other as much as we love each other it still is so hard that we couldn't see anybody else and we were each other's mental support too for for the majority of the pandemic we grew very strong from it i think look at all this blood that we <laughs> all the fights we've been through now just kidding but i would say the same about families siblings or if you are if you are roommates with friends and suddenly you had to spend a lot of time together that that means time that you're not seeing anybody else you cannot see your friends you cannot see your family you need to rely on each other a lot and i think that was the test of many relationships again not just romantic relationships but the test of any relationship if it's gonna break you or if it's gonna make you stronger so i hope that it made many of you stronger too with when it comes to your relationship with your parents with brothers and sisters with friends i hope you grew stronger from it because hardship struggles well many of us have gone through in the pandemic if not every single person i hope it made all of us stronger and wiser this was a surprisingly good feeling after all i was very nervous to watch my past self but i can say now that i'm happy i recorded this time capsule and i truly appreciate the words that past anna has sent to me from exactly a year ago i might do a time capsule again in the future <laughs> i'm getting very emotional and i don't know if i should add this you can call me crazy for it but when i recorded the time capsule and i had to set the schedule that this video was gonna go up a year later it made me think about even if not like in a very oh i'm so afraid oh what's gonna happen way but it made me think about how fragile is life and how you never know if there's a tomorrow and i know i'm young and i'm healthy and i'm very lucky that everything is all right with my health especially but the fact that i scheduled the video for a year later to be applauded made it just ha made me have this thought in the back of my mind that i i hope i'll be around <laughs> when the video goes up and i know it sounds crazy because like i should not be worried but you never know you, you never know there's no guarantee that you or me are here in a year so i know i know it's crazy i know that there's not like no danger and i'm not ill i everything is fine with my life but people have accidents and and i normally don't think about it so i'm normally super happy and positive and i don't think about mortality often um but this video the time capsule video made me made me have this tiny fear in me that i have scheduled a video for the future and i hope there there will be an anna in the future when the video is up it would be it would have been very weird if i'm not around and this video goes up right it's morbid it's strange but it was a bit of an awkward situation to have in the back of my mind that i have a future video so yeah now you know <laughs> now you know and that is a good reminder that we should live every single day as best as we can enjoy it as much as we can and and be grateful for the life we have thanks so much for watching if you are new please consider to subscribe and i shall see you in the next video bye for now